What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI Fan TV. In today's video we're starting our new weekly segment where we look at a future star. It's going to be every Wednesday at 8pm. This video might come out on the Thursday, just the first episode of it. But from now on it's going to be a weekly segment at 8 on a Wednesday. So make sure to put that in your diaries because it's going to be coming every week. We're going to have a new future star. It can be from the LOI, it can be from outside the LOI. So what I want you guys to do is to first of all like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. But most importantly make sure to comment comment the player that you want to see next down in the comments below and I promise that whichever player gets the most likes whichever comment gets the most likes I will do that player so yeah make sure to comment what future star you want me to cover next week on the show but as you can probably tell from the title from the thumbnail from everything that today's video of course is going to be looking at Bohemians midfielder and Irish under 21 international Dawson Devoy now Dawson Devoy is a 19 year old attacking midfielder who played I think he played a schoolboy football with home farm then moved on to St. Kevin's Boys and then he signed for Bohemians under 17s in 2018. He joined up with the under 19s for the 2019 campaign. This actually was his breakthrough season to the first team. So he obviously made a big impression with the under under 19s uh, and caught the eye of Keith Long and broke his way into the first team. And he ended up playing 10 of the side's first team games in 2019. So it was a real breakthrough season for him. And he really established himself in the team for the 2020 season. I think the COVID-19 pandemic maybe was unfortunate timing for, for Dawson in terms of he had a really kind of breakthrough campaign towards the end of that 2019 season. And it was kind of halted before the start of the 2020 season. But he did go on to feature in 14 of Bohemians' 18 league games in 2020 and picked up four assists in all competitions. Looking at his goal contributions for the 2020 season doesn't kind of do the whole full justice for it. I'm not majoring into stats myself now to be honest I think they can people can get carried away with them and, and I think the eye test like looking at a player yourself I think is a bigger indicator for me anyway I think looking at certain stats as well go in his favour outside of the goal contributions because it's not all what is that his game is really you just need to look at player stat data it's a it's a site and they have a twitter page make sure I'll leave the link for that in the description down below and um, they, they have a site where you can you can search up stuff and they have an, this article called standout young players in the 2020 SSE or Tristy League Premier Division and they do a feature on Dawson Devoy. I know Colin is the guy who um, who runs this site and uh, he's a really good guy so make sure to go check him out and drop him a follow on Twitter but just looking at what um, they've, the stats they have on Dawson Devoy I thought it was quite interesting. He did play 524 minutes for Bohemians in in 2020 and they describe him as a tricky player on the ball and he's very very comfortable in possession tidy in possession and um, he's rated number one in attacking 1v1 successes per 90 for bohemians and he was actually third in the overall league for this stat in terms of 1v1 success in the attacking third that shows you all you need to know and this is a stat that i really loved as well considering how young this player is it shows how how um well, how much potential he has he led the way in the stats table for for attacking mids and centre mids in chance creation per 90. So that just shows you all you need to know about how creative Dawson Devoy is and how much he could potentially contribute to a team moving forward. Um, they also comment here on how well he linked up with Andre Wright last season. They had a really good connection and a really good partnership. Yet to um, kind of establish that with Georgie Kelly just yet. We'll get on to this season in a little bit. But yeah, the connection that he built up with Andre Wright was really, really impressive last season. And he kind of played in that number 10 position and was equ he's equally comfortable playing in that deeper role um, in central midfield, which is kind of where he's been opted for this season as I said we will touch on that in a second but just kind of going off what my, my own thoughts were in terms of I know there were off field issues with Bowes and Danny Mandrew and um, so it was kind of but it kind of made it a lot easier for Keith Long to leave Mandrew out of the side when you have a player like Dawson Devoy's ability coming through the ranks and playing in that similar kind of number 10 position so they maybe default it with Danny Mandrew and losing Danny Mandrew maybe didn't sting quite so badly for Bowes given the fact they had someone of Dawson Devoy's ability coming through the ranks and made it that little bit easier. Then in terms of the 2021 campaign it has been a little bit tricky for uh, but for Dawson Devoy and for Bowes of course they've been a little bit stop sturdy so far this season and um, they've been in a little bit of a transitional phase um, especially in the midfield area they've kind of lost the likes of JJ Loney and stuff like that and of course Mandrew as I mentioned there and they've brought in Bastian Harry, Liam Burt, Ali Coote they've all been brought in by Keith Long of course to kind of strengthen the air, strengthen the midfield area and um, look to add more competition for places and that has been a big factor for both this season they haven't really properly established in midfield maybe the last game or two they're starting to but before that they were kind of 
messing around with it and, and, and changing it chopping and changing it a little bit Keith Long of course is a massive massive fan of Keith Ward he's never let him down he's a consistent performer and he does play in that area of the pitch where Dawson Devoid might want to get on the ball as well they're kind of similar in that regard in terms of beating a man and creating something so um, Keith Ward does get the nod a lot of the time from Keith Long um, and he'll always play a large percentage of games and the emergence of another midfielder a uh, young midfielder from Bowser's Academy Ross Tierney can't go under the radar he's one that actually might feature within this series as well he's 20 years old and he's added so much competition to the mix in midfield as well he's been fantastic for both so far this season and I'd say if you ask Austin Devoy where he wants to play on the pitch ideally I'd say it's in that number 10 position where he can have that little bit of freedom to move around but he is so versatile and comfortable on the ball um, and his pass range is absolutely excellent as well meaning that he can be dropped into that kind of double pivot playing in front of the back four as well kind of getting on the ball and making things happen from a deeper position and um, whereas kind of Ross Tierney maybe is a little bit more attacking minded we saw in the last game that Bowes played actually in the 2-0 win away at Longford which is the last game um, Bowes played at the time of recording and uh, we saw that Keith Long opted to play Dawson Navoy alongside Keith Buckley in that midfield pivot area and um, Ross Tierney in front of them Ali Coote and Liam Burke in front of them so I think that could be potentially the future five maybe they're starting to establish that midfield where it is um, Buckley, Devoy, Cute, Burt and uh, Tierney as, as the kind of set um, midfield I know Keith Ward doesn't it will get a lot of game time as well but I think that five is probably the way forward for Bowes this season and they've started to pick up a few results as well using that five I think they might have had the same five against uh, Finn Harps if I'm not mistaken as well Devoy's made six starts for Bowes this season and I feel like this deeper role could be exactly where he'll play for the remainder of the campaign I think it does really suit him well I think the perfect example of what he's capable of is the goal that uh, Liam Burt scored against Rota Dawson Devoy really kind of dictated the play and got the move going and um, we'll have a quick look at it now but it's an unbelievable goal what I love about it is that he actually receives the ball so deep from James Talbot James Talbot throws it out to him and he kind of gets in the ball he gets a, maybe a little bit of luck initially um, this weak tackle from the draw of the midfielder but look how calm he is in the ball little one twos around the park um, goes, comes to claim the ball from the centre back and sprays the play out really really nicely and look at this he's always on the move you can see him in the picture he's always on the move really getting across the pitch to, to get on the ball Tyreek Wilson finds him here and this is an unbelievable piece of skill just to beat his man in a deep area so comfortable on the ball so calm the pass is absolutely insane to find Liam Burt. Just an absolutely perfectly weighted ball through and Liam Burt did in fairness to him, finished expertly. And yeah, I think he's one of those players that I think you could see him possibly making that move across the pond. I don't think it's the right decision just yet to do that. I think maybe this season, maybe one more season after that, get to maybe 21, that kind of age, and then I think he'll be primed and ready to go over and make an impact across the pond but I think for the time being I think he's this is the perfect place for his development I think he does offer that versatility for Bowes in terms of he can play in wide areas I like him as well he's kind of jinky he can get around the full backing and make things happen the chance creation stat is something else to be honest the fact that he created most chances out of any attacking midfielder or centre midfielder in the league last season bode so well from him and I think the sky is the limit for him and as player stat data puts it he's a player who's destined for big things and I couldn't put it any better myself Bose fans have you seen much of Dawson Devoy let us know what you thought of him down in the comments below it seems like he's so much older than 19 as well he's been around since 2019 the 2020 season 2021 now still only 19 years of age it's, it's yeah it's it's scary how how young he is. it feels like he should be in his 20s at the very least i know he's 20 this year i think but yeah he's so much younger than i thought he was when i started doing a bit a little bit of looking into him so yeah uh dawson avoy serious one to watch and a, and a future star and he is the player we've looked at in episode one of our future star series as i said at the start of the video we will be doing these every wednesday at 8 p.m this video is going to come out on the thursday but ignore that from now on it's going to be wednesday at 8 p.m so make sure to put that down in your diaries if you did enjoy the video guys make sure to drop a like on it down below and as i said before make sure to comment down below which player you want to see next the comment with the most likes is the player that i will do so make sure to get your opinions down there and do subscribe if you haven't done so already we are on the road 2 3k so all your support is greatly appreciated thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in a bit